Hello, everyone. Yes, I cleared <laughs> the chat. Thanks for joining <laughs> us this evening. Uh, my name is Charles, as you know. Um, uh, Olivia could not be with us this evening, but Jay is back with us this evening. I am um, back so... with us this evening. <laughs> so I'm going to swap over to Ethan and let him bring us back into the campaign. Hey guys, that's everyone going. Um, yeah, we had a little bit of a little mishap last last week with um, the crew kind of full steam going forward uh, to a giant warship, uh, and as as could be expected, in that the the ship, the Tropicana, uh, that magnificent ship, was lost. Um, so now they were picked up by a, a kind fisherman. Uh, from out of the shark-infested waters, they have now gotten back to uh, the city of Valifor uh, proper. And um, there's kind of a riot going on. So our crew now uh, has to kind of find a way to get safe and some way off this, this land. Um, so we'll go back to the crew. Um, Ignatius is back with us uh, again. And they have docked in... Uh, in Valifor, and the city is in, in not completely in flames. Uh, there's you know, you know, kind of segmented fires, uh, but there is like a full kind of riot, uh, every man for himself thing going on right now. Uh, you hear it looks like there, there are um, some pocketed riots that are going on, and the guards are coming to, to squash the riots uh, currently. Um, but right now, y'all have just gotten back on, on shore. I say we go to the pastry place. I uh, actually... Guys, I think we need to have a crew meeting. Yeah, let's huddle up, guys. Um, all right. I, I, I move that, first of all, we, we promote Cantor from captain to ship's cook. I think that's I... a definite promotion. I... I'm still the captain. V uh, Billy, I think that we have a, a slightly more pressing matters... Such as this flaming bottle flying at my head. Okay, uh, I the pastry shop is not a bad idea because that guy likes us. We need to go somewhere. Uh, yeah, unless we can get some also, of those things. Uh, you also, uh, as you're looking at, you know, taking stock of your your crew and your teammates, uh, you notice that a few, uh, mostly Tantor, uh, have what looks to be shark bites. Um, and chunks of flesh missing. Um, he looks like he's putting on a, a tough face, but you can see that he's bleeding quite profusely. Good Lord, did I not help you with that while we were in the water? It's almost as if I was not myself last week. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> let me let me uh, look deep, deep inside myself while I apparently open roll 20 to get to my character sheet. <laughs> there it is. Okay, I got yeah, it. Yeah, where were you at, dude? I thought that I was taking care of you last week, but it was almost like an unknown force was guiding my hand. All right, that well, just fix force, me now, please. That unknown force apparently did not heal you well enough last week. So let <laughs> so so let me get to my spells here. I'm gonna uh, kabam. Hold on, I'm gonna cat. Hold on, I'm gonna cast this at this level, and I say You're the worst healer ever. Kabam! Nice. How you feel? Uh -oh. <laughs> I didn't even see what was rolled because I cleared the chat at the exact time that you hit the. I rolled thing. an eleven. All right, you got eleven healing. Okay. An eleven. Oh man! Could you uh, heal me 11. as well, please? Oh, I guess everybody wasn't healed yeah, last week. You know what? Heals. How, uh, yeah, how many how many cure wounds do you have? Uh, I have four spell slots, and I'm doing first level spells. So right now, this will be the second one I've cast. Okay. Kabam! Great. Slightly less healed because you're slightly smaller than the captain. That doesn't mean that I respect you any less. Oh, cool! I got healed nine. But you got healed eleven. Oh, I did. Yeah. Justin, yeah, just that's, my, that's my heal. That's helpful. Right. Um, How you doing, little guy? Is the elf chick okay too? Uh, 
I think Let's she's pretty good. I think she's fine. Let me pull her out. Uh... Oh yeah, she's she's fully good. Um, okay. So, uh, as you're sitting there doing the heels, uh, Tantor and everyone else is looking out towards the uh, towards the cities, or towards the buildings, and um, the building in front of you, right here. Uh, so immediately in front of Billy, uh, collapsed it. So, like it collapses, and then embers come come spraying up from the inside. Uh, looks like someone set it on fire from the inside, um, and then you haven't you didn't see the flames until the roof itself collapsed. Wow! Everyone here like, seems really upset. Um, you hear. Uh, you, uh, Billy, you're, you're the closest, so you actually see uh, a man running out of the building on, uh, on this side here. Uh, it looks like he's holding uh, some things in his in his hands uh, as he as he screams, uh, "Revolution is here! Property is theft!" Uh, as he as he runs away. I'm just I mean, trying to get a health fight, potion. Fight the power, oh, oh. brother! Oh yeah, is the cure wounds it is two d four? Two d four plus two. Yeah, the the actual the potion they all have. I'm gonna drink another one. I'm doing it too. Oh, look at there. Damn, you guys oh, were really hurt, weren't you? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I thought you were right, good after 15. I just did that. Kieran, uh, fifteen. Worth. Okay. Did I get hurt at all last week? No, you just slept uh, we a lot. You. Yeah. yeah, I slept a lot. All right, cool. <laughs> Yeah, we saved your life. I appreciate that. With the ocean, and you did great. It's like I was living in a dream. I was there, but I wasn't. All right, give me one. So we go to this pastry place. We're on the way, right? So y'all are oh, okay. uh, almost back. <clears throat> if that's what you would like to do, y'all will be running on your way to uh, the pastry place. We have pastry place. We have horse barn, or we have douchebag that uh, Tantor beat. Those are the three people I can think of that are safe areas. Horse barn. <laughs> the stable. The stable. <laughs> yeah, that place. Holy Listen, shit, guys. wait, what happened to Sassafras? <laughs> uh Sassafras, oh, no. last you knew, Sassafras was tied up uh outside the pub. Is that near the pastry place? It is not uh, near the pastry over place. Over here, isn't it? Somewhere over here? Well, first we've got to get sassafras, and then we get pastries. All right. Okay. Uh, so let's go ahead. and You're making your way through the burned remains of the city. Let me do it. Downtown. <laughs> it's. I don't know if this is more downtown or just kind of. I think midtown. It's all on fire. <laughs> there's okay, no up, there's no down that. there. It's just. Okay, so y'all uh, are making your way uh, through the town, and uh, Tantor, you remember from just you know the the smell of the pastries and the memory of those delectable um, treats that you're close to the pastry chef, uh, <laughs> and you're almost there when you uh, you'll see a looks like a crowd of. People are, are accosting guards. Uh, looks to be about four guards, and they're in a very tense. Like guards have their weapons out, but it doesn't look like they're trying not to, you know, kind of provoke to have to go into a fight. But it looks like they are uh, confronting a, a mass of about twenty people. Um, uh, I'd like to know. See. I'd like to look over the people that the people are harassing the guards. What kind of people do they look like? Do they look like just schlubs, or do they look like fighter types, or you know, tough guys? Uh, you can. Let's see. We had yeah. You see, like there's a couple tough guys in there, uh, but the majority of it looks like just basic, um, you know, townspeople, uh, townspeople, uh, shop owners, uh, regular villagers. All right. And next question is. Are we within 90 feet of them? Yes, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
and I want to try to center this to away from the guards, like in the center of the crowd. <laughs> Whoa, dude. Okay, 28. Uh, By the way, that 18 that I rolled was to find the pastry shop because I have keen smell in checks involving my my schnauzer. You snoot? Uh, the pastry shop, you know where it is. Uh, it is about three blocks away from where you all are at right now. However, to get there, you would have to cross through the alley and like the, the road that this is all kind of going on in. Um, Billy, you sight up and aim for the back end of the crowd. And you're able to put about half of the crowd to sleep. They suddenly just drop, uh, drop to sleep. The guards look around and because they're they're shocked also. And the crowd itself, some notice that you know half of their compatriots are now gone uh, and just suddenly out of nowhere, unconscious, dead for all they know. Um, and so they, that is the spark that ignites the charge and they charge at the guards. I think that went the opposite way you were trying for, Billy. Yep. Was trying to defuse the situation. Instead, I fused the bomb. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, shorten the wick. Because I did not get like the full setup of what happened last week. Do we think anyone down here is specifically a bad guy or the bad guy is gone and just causing chaos down here? Correct. They're they're kind of, they're gone. They're just causing chaos. Okay, so everybody's just fighting everybody, but no one's the bad guy that is currently down here. That dude's gone. Yeah. So the the ship that okay. was um, gave a speech, killed a lot of the nobles, went through a tele like went like t teleported to a portal. You don't know where. Gotcha. Well, I mean, I don't know well, how much of a bad I guy he was. I mean, he did have some yeah. compelling points. I do remember that. Uh, and so as y'all are <laughs> they're uh, talking about the philosophies of, of what just happened uh, with the ship, um, the guards now actually being charged at from uh, the people uh, have now are now utilizing their weapons uh, on the people. Um, there are... Well, it looks like two of them are actually using the bladed side of their weapons. Uh, one, uh, the other two are kind of trying to do non-lethal damage, like bash him with the the hilt of the sword, or you know, hit him with the side of the, their sword, or something like that. Um, but the the people that are are actually using the weapons, like actually using the blade of the weapon, is not uh, keeping the crowd from continuing to try to. Um, oh, about this you. about this crowd, um, would these people in this crowd fighting the guards perhaps be people that were cheering for me during the joust? Let's see here. And I have a question about they, they it at the like, same time. Yeah, they are like the you know made up by a lot of the you know poorer class. So yeah, like there's there's probably a good amount in here uh, that were in the crowd that were here for you. you. You had the peasant's ear uh, during the tournament. Let me go ahead and get y'all over so y'all can get a view of it. Do, 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 do. Also, just a quick reminder while Ethan gets that set up for everybody, uh, Saturday we're going to be streaming our Florida Edition one-shot. Um, it's just sort of a variant on um, D20 Modern, as well as some elements of um, D20 Apocalypse. Um, so that's going to be we Saturday are, at 8, 8 we p.m. Eastern. We are all Eastern. playing as Florida Man. Yeah, that's, yes, we're all going to be Florida Man, basically. And that's Saturday at 8 p.m. Eastern. And then next week, next Saturday, June 6th, um, is the one that I am super excited about and I wasn't here last week to talk about it we are going to be playing Dungeons and Dragons with Brandon Cutler who is a wrestler for AEW he is probably on TV around now at the same time that we stream wrestling for AEW so after we're done watching us go watch him and he's going to be playing more of a basic D&D &D, not any kind of goofy edition with us and we can only hope he does better than we did last week. Goodness gracious. 
He couldn't do worse. Uh, and I was talking to him today. He is super excited about doing it, and we hopefully might be able to do some other stuff with him in the future. Awesome. All right. What's it look like, Ethan? Just getting everyone's dimensions back set up. Uh, let me go ahead, and, and I will bring everyone over so I can oh, get cool. a view of... Come on. Uh, yeah, I need to see what the radius these dudes are in is. It's it's pretty tight. Sweet. Yeah, I need to. I'm gonna. I got my eyes on one of these guards. Real quick, before you do that, I want to run up, gentlemen, gentlemen, everybody, just be at peace. And the "be at peace" are the keywords while I cast calm emotions, <laughs> okay. which is in a 20 foot radius of wherever I cast it, which is going to be in the middle of these guys. Everyone has to make a charisma saving throw. And let me pull my character sheet back up, and I will tell you what the rest of that is. If they fail their saving throw... I figured he would do them as a group. Yeah. Um, If they fail their saving throw, I can make them be charmed or frightened or suppress any emotion that they have going on at that time. Uh, So, and you said it was a 20-foot radius? Correct. Correct. Uh, I, we're just in a void here, it looks like. Yeah. But also, Did thank you to Jay Chapito uh, for subscribing to us on Twitch. Thank you, Jay Chapito. Appreciate the support. Hopefully I didn't say that too wrong. Did, is it like a white void that you're seeing? No, no it's no, black. Quite the opposite. Uh, go ahead and maximize all the way out. You should be seeing uh, a burned down building. I see a it's black square. burned down. Yeah, yeah, it's it's <laughs> completely burned. It completely burned. <laughs> it's a cinder. What in the world? Hold on. I love roll twenty. <laughs> well, okay, so uh Do you have oh, the Well while well, we're waiting for Ethan to on? Yeah, it's on there. Oh, do you have a fog layer on? No. Good call. I just switched y'all back to the big city. You still seeing black? Nope. No. No. Okay. Let me go ahead and try to switch back. Yep. Uh, it's black. Just black. Are our tokens any... on the screen? Yeah. I don't have any fog on or anything. This is what Ignatius saw last week. <laughs> <laughs> it was like a dream. There was just an ethereal voice that said y'all all of the time oh explaining what happened to me in my ears, but I couldn't see a thing. <laughs> to be fair, we all player. say y'all a lot, but Ethan just talks the most because he's the DM. It, I, uh, well, someone can move their token because they just did. Yeah, that was me. <laughs> can you see? <laughs> no, I just found him in the abyss. Don't all worry, right. I got this, guys. All right, hold on. Let's try a Tokens in the Abyss is the name of my D and D based black metal band. Oh <laughs> dear. We'll just do random battle road then. Okay. Random Hopefully. battle road, that sounds fun. Hopefully I have just charmed all of these guys into chilling out and we won't even need a battle, so it's okay. I'm readying my axe. Is there a D and D version of Botchamania? I, that joke was for me. Maybe someone in the chat. <laughs> yeah, Maybe. I don't. I don't know what a regular version of Botchamania is. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know is what that, that part is. Of bocce ball or? It's a wrestling joke. As yeah. Jeff points out, for all the free advertising that I give this essential alleged business or alleged essential business, they ought to have someone play with us. You know, Jay, I kind of think that you would be the only person. That would think that it is definitely an essential business. Yeah, he's starting. I do. I don't. No, Justin cut out the deleted scene where I was just like, <laughs> I feel so bad saying all of these lines. These fuckers don't need to be wrestling. I edited that, and uh, <laughs> I did cut it out on purpose. I it understand. It's way funnier to just cut you off. Like I don't think that, and then just cut it. That was great. <laughs> I mean, because when it comes down to it, Linda McMahon gave someone a bunch of money and then magically everyone in Florida was allowed to wrestle. <laughs> That's great. 
That's what happened. Dude, he was bragging about him on the news yesterday. Talking there about were alleged- how much money they make us. Yeah, what I heard was that there were cops knocking on the door of the Performance Center in Orlando. DeSantis got a phone call, and those cops were like, never mind, have a good day wrestling people. Oh, yeah. Weird. Um, let me see if resetting the... Oh, I hate to do this. So I've got everything set up on my monitor. So I was thinking maybe we could get it to reset. Oh, yeah, I'll just reload. Hang on. Jeff Tillis just gave us two bucks. Whoa! And, Can you and that? said... There it is. Hey, the look thing, at there. What? He said the I, thing I that guess I said. that map that, you know, Roll 20 itself preloaded doesn't work. Oh my god, we're sm- we're honey, I shrunk the kids. We're so <laughs> tiny. <laughs> that is We don't stand a chance against these cards, dude. I mean, yeah, what there's like those? 10 of them. They're going to murder us. They look like they have popsicles for heads. Are the guards the one that we really want to fight? It looks like a recolored Marge Simpson. Oh, God. <laughs> hey, it's just what was on Roll20, okay? Thank you, Splix. Yes, thank uh, you for the subscription on Twitch, Splix. Or Splix. Oh, thank you. Here. All right, there you go. Y'all should be good now and full size. Billy is oh, still full size. Oh, hell yeah, He's dude. Tiny. All right. So there we go. So, um, so these, these are the the ones that did not get put to sleep and there were four guards there. Um, so Ignatius, you said you were doing a I ran up here charm and then, spell? Yep, I tried to cast uh, Calm Emotions. Okay. Um, 20 foot radius, where are you centering it? I am centering it. Hold on, let me get to that screen. I have a lot of tabs open right about there. So that'll hit all of the guards and a couple of the people. I believe. Where at? Are you doing it on the guards? Like right on this rock. Okay. Well, the rock is oh, certainly I can cast fun. Cure Wounds. Okay. So go ahead and what's the save? They have to do a Charisma save. And let me get to that. What my Charisma save would be. My spell save DC is 13. Oh, yeah, dude. I'm with Justin. <laughs> I'm moving up, son. Uh, they they do not uh, halt the, the hostilities. Uh, and no. uh, as you attempt that, the woman in front of you uh, takes, a, takes a sword through the stomach. She is... Oh! Still... Yeah, I'm attacking this guy right here. Oh, no. Okay. She's, like, she's like dead dead? Yes, yes. She is dead dead. I'm so upset. She she is the dead dead. All right. All so right. We're gonna it's officially initiatives. Viva La Revolution, dude. <laughs> so we're going to roll initiatives. Um, fight the power. Fight, oh. fight, fight yeah, the dude. power. Oh. Oh, wow, Justin. Whoa, yeah. give everybody else a chance, dude. <laughs> Oh, I didn't have my token selected for that 15. Oh, me neither. Oh, shit, Billy. What? What? (laughs) Then we'll do the... (laughs) I can't believe this lady's just dead. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah, they're, they're just commoners. That woman had a family! Yeah, dude, uh, this shit turned into with... Lay Miz like real fast. <laughs> with real quick. All right. Justin, let's get you added in. You got a three? Oh, yeah. Oh, Damn yeah. it. Oh, yeah. Javert! Look down. Look down. <laughs> we went and saw that when it was in Jacksonville a couple years ago. Man, that lady is humongous. <laughs> Humongously dead. <laughs> she is four it's times a, the size of Tantor. <laughs> yeah, dude. Well, I thought you'd like to have big women, Tantor. 
<laughs> yeah, dude. And that's okay. Also, Tantor right, is from so Tarzan. Up first be Billy. Pardon me? Billy, you're up first. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I guess centering it right about on that fabled rock. Okay. Go on, go on with that good target. It's quality rock. It's nice rock. Oh, dude. You just turned me and Justin into fucking Bangalore. <laughs> oh, that okay, should be on set. Quiet on set. Quiet on set. See, I'm still trying to defuse the situation. And you sent it in there? Yeah. I think it's 20 feet. Uh, yeah, 20 feet. So you can right-click advanced um, size and make it um, oh, man. 280 by 280. That's beautiful. Oh. That's it. Yeah, 280 by 280. That's it. Wow, that is that looks like a dank cloud. So yeah, <laughs> a, a cloud rises from the from the stone, uh, obscuring quite a few people. Um, well, a couple people. The guard, uh, one guard, one. It's getting centered. Uh, one yeah, guard, dude, is right. God in there? What is that? that? Be real is summoned forth from the smoke. You can right click <laughs> it and send it to back. The cloud. There, there you go. go. Hey, there you go. can see through it, but you know what? Kevin Smith it's appears coughing. <laughs> All right, so at last. <laughs> okay, so everything's just obscured. All right. Um, and do anything else, really? No, it's the. Yep. Okay. So up next, uh, you'll you'll hear a, a, a womanly <laughs> scream, uh, and she charges <laughs> straight into the fog. A womanly <laughs> scream. <laughs> oh, boo! <laughs> Yeah, then that one is going to go into the fog, uh, and they're going to do their swingies. It should reduce their two hits. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, the woman screamed womanly as she womaned across the screen. <laughs> and if he, has, if he can do it while she, maintaining concentration, she Willem will move behind Willem because he's out of spells and useless in combat. So... She charges at this guard uh, and uh, trips on the body of her, her feather, uh, her feather, her feather, her fellow uh, commoner and uh, face plants in the ground, like skidding uh, right behind the guard. Uh, the other <laughs> one runs into the fog. In a very womanly fashion. Yeah. What are they, drunk? What the hell's going on? <laughs> I did, did just have a festival. So, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, they probably are drunk. drunk. <laughs> this is a riot fueled by drunken disorder. Um, oh yeah, I forgot then, Tantor's yeah. still wasted. <laughs> yeah, yeah, everyone's still drunk. <laughs> and then uh she runs into, the, to affect your runs into the fog and uh and she doesn't come out. But you don't hear a thud or like a or uh purchase of any attack or anything. Uh it's like a Looney show. Tunes cartoon. It's like a Looney Tunes cartoon. Um I wanna try calm emotions one more time. Okay. <laughs> Same spot. I just want the guards to chill. <laughs> it's like call cue the gif of Trump throwing the paper towels at Puerto Rico. Hey, hey, hey you guys. Hey, everybody chill out. <laughs> that's, that's my that's my casting word. Three people are already dead. <laughs> <laughs> just calm down. Everything's fine. <laughs> Sir, you with the bloody uh, sword. Just relax. Everybody just have a big Come hug. On. Put the sword down. Yeah, with swords. Um the, the guards turn to you and, and say, there's no calm in this down now. And, Shit. Uh, and I'm going to take yeah. a few steps back because I can't okay. take a hit like some of my friends can. Uh, Tantor, you're up. Oh, dude. I'm slinging Deadmaker into this cat right here on the top left corner of the god circle. 
<laughs> okay. <Kay>. This one here? <laughs> yeah. All right. Kablam. <laughs> Unsurprisingly, that hits. If you just click um, on the words Dead Baker, it'll roll your damage. Oh, will it? Yep. Uh, on the In the chat itself, or where I clicked yep. to its at? In the chat itself. Boom. Oh, wow, that thing lived up yeah, to its damn dude. name. That's sweet. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, almost max damage. Cool. I want to, like, cool. Achilles stab him in the back of the neck. Okay. okay. Remember, remember oh. in Troy. Remember in Troy in the beginning when Brad oh, yeah, Pitt yeah. is Achilles, fucking yeah, and runs just, like, and jumps, jumps up, up and yeah. yeah I want to do. I'm doing that shit. Yeah. Um, you do that uh, through the fog because like he's in the fog right now. So you actually you don't even really see him. You just kind of you know mind's eye remember where he was before the fog popped up out of nowhere, um, and then you stab at that spot you actually kick off the rock so you kick off the rock and stab at that spot and you feel your your i mean you're hoping it was the guard uh but you feel your uh uh dead maker make purchase and like it sinks into like meat um you're not sure how well however uh the guard is doing Okay, well, that works for me. I think that's about all I can do, really. I stepped up, and then I attacked, so I'm yeah. good. And what's your AC, Tantor? Um, I want to say... Oh, 17. Okay. Uh-oh. Um, so out of the fog... Uh, slings a... a well, actually, you're you're in the fog now too. Um, <laughs> you step like after you hit the step four, you came in the fog now also. Um, but you kind of hear parting the fog, a blade, and it sinks into your side. Oh no! Uh, oh. You'll take nine points of slashing damage. Oof. <sighs> and yeah. then. Uh, this guard steps forward into the fog. <laughs> um, Thorn Tooth, you'll get an attack opportunity as you, as you left. Hey. Oh, sweet. Chaz, if it makes you feel better, you got a $2 donation from Jeff Tillis because he liked your paper towel joke. Uh, Thank that'll you, hit Jeff. Okay, 8.8. Okay. <laughs> Take that. And then... Oh, you can't see that. Well, they can't see this, but just so that I... Oh, God. And then he is going to... Nope, not you. You're up there. It looks like he's killed another giant woman. <laughs> <laughs> Death by Snoo Snoo. <laughs> yeah. I got a feeling like if everything is to scale, we could see those ladies in the fog. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're, a bunch of beehives sticking like... out of the smoke. Oh, yeah, God. Dude. It looks like a bunch of 50 stoner women. Yeah, talk about Attack on Titan. Jesus. <laughs> so these two guards uh, here uh, attack the uh, men that are you know respectively in front of them. Uh you see, like, they slash open, like, shirts across the chest, but the wounds aren't deep. Uh, Thorn Tooth, you're up. I'm going to run into the fog. And uh, okay. I hopefully hit this guy, but uh, we'll see. Okay. As you um, as you run in, <clears throat> uh, that, that'll hit. Okay. Steady with the eights. Nice. Uh, but as you run in to attack that guard, um, your foot does land on the calf uh, of a body uh, of okay. a woman. So looks like she uh, has has bit the dust as well. Literally. And then we're, <laughs> we're top of the round. Dude, if it's one of those women, that shit is like a log in the <laughs> forest, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be right back. 
All right, I ha I could do this because it's a cantrip. And wow. what I'm doing is the sound of a round bell. Ding. So just a just ding. Yeah, the sound like a like at the end of a boxing round. Oh. God. <laughs> oh, oh. The ding ding! You know, oh. I didn't hear no bell. All right, all right. I was just like, you, 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 are you ringing the dinner bell? Um, but I got, I got you now. That might work for Tantor. That might get Tantor <laughs> out of the fight. <laughs> yeah, it's good to know that because that even though you're not participating in dealing damage, we can at least count on you to distract us with the bell. <laughs> all right. Healing um, is a lover, not the fighter. <laughs> Do you actually? Oh, you have combat spells. You're just out of them. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so the oh, one... I did not mean to click that. Pardon me. <laughs> <You're good. laughs> I was trying to read about it. Uh, the one who who tripped is going to get up and and charge and try to tackle the guard. We'll see how well that goes. Yeah, she uh she leaps and. Like kind of wraps uh, her, her <laughs> arms around the guard, and she is like she's grappling him now. Oh, wait a minute! I have second level spell slots that I haven't used. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> hey, look! This random fireball. I don't yeah, have any it's... spells in the second level, but I have slots. I was oh, like, Billy's gotcha. hair is about to start turning blonde and glowing. Like I'm ready. <laughs> All right. Uh, so she is now grappled. This guy. Whoa! <laughs> Not one of the one. Well, I, I guess she's the only woman left. Yeah, and she she has grappled him. She's the alpha. Hell yeah, dude! So there's a little denotation that uh, they are both in a grapple. I'm gonna trumpet. And then uh, Ignatius, you're up now. I am going to run oh, up. Get the fireball. I see. Oh my god, that's I didn't. I thought I was doing something. Uh, I'm gonna run over and try to bust the guy that she's holding in his knee. Okay. <laughs> with with my hammer. What are you laughing at? I don't want to kill anybody. Oh well, yeah, I guess that's true. Hey, buddy, I'm about to bust a cap. <laughs> yeah, that'll hit. Oh, my gosh. 5K. Uh, you successfully... Uh, no. <laughs> um, you successfully um, crunch his knee in. Ah, <laughs> did you get my joke? I said I was going to bust a cap. Okay. You know, that guy used to be an adventurer until he took a hammer to the knee. I've never played that video game. <laughs> what? A what? <laughs> I've never played any of the Elder Scrolls games yet, actually. You just run a lot. That's pretty much it. I played, <laughs> I played Fallout, oh so I figure I've played like, the same kind of game. Yeah, off topic, but uh, the old uh, videos of you, Justin, doing the... Um, uh, flim Flam? The flim, yeah, well, flim, flim Flam player. is his name. <laughs> That's oh, the most God. I've ever seen of Oblivion is you guys playing. <laughs> <laughs> and, and like half of it was just just Justin running around. <laughs> yeah. That's all you can do. Yeah, yeah, it is a lot of running. Ugh. All right. Um, on that note, uh, Tantor, Mantar, you're up. You, you have taken a sword to the side. Um... Well, then I'm going to hammer... I'm going to go after him again, then. Okay. Try and hit Tantor. Who the hell do you think you are? Oh, that's not that great. Uh, bad attack will miss. You you whiff into the fog. Um. All right, that's all I got. Well, I can't... Can I attack and drink a potion? Or are those both standard uh, actions? Potions are standard actions. Um... Okay, so then that's it. Okay. All right, and then 
Guards! 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 <laughs> It sounds like there's a train passing somewhere. Oh. It probably is oh, over in uh, Justin or Jay's. Not so. by me. Yeah, I don't think it's here. It could be my... Does that stop it? So there was a, a oh, wild yeah. swing from all the guards. It was the vent from my um, air conditioner. I shut it off. Oh, the, cool. Um... Oh my god, someone's getting yeah, abducted by an alien now. <laughs> um, <laughs> th 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 what the fuck yeah. was that? The guard that, that you hit uh, yeah. is going to uh is going to the stabbing straight out. Uh he he does make purchase into your uh, stomach, but it doesn't go very far in. Like just the tip uh makes purchase and you'll take five damage. I decline. <laughs> and then <laughs> um the guard here that's grappled uh, attempted to break out of the grapple, um, and he did it so recklessly that he actually, um, you know, fumbles his, his sword, and uh, she picks it up, like, out of the air, like, grabs it from him. Oh, dude, I like her a lot. Yeah, this lady's cool. And then now, uh, Thorntooth, you're up. Well, I'm going for that same dude. This guy. Okay. Oh, this guy. Hmm. Uh, yeah, so a 13 will not hit. Uh, okay. So you're just swinging wildly into the fog. Um, <laughs> yeah, join the party. Don't you have rage, Thorntooth? I do. I have it on. Oh, okay. But you got to hit. So, yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Okay. Just making sure. You know. <laughs> All right. Um, hey, dude, don't you have that awesome thing that would be helpful if you did hit? <laughs> making sure you adding all that in, you know. Um, <laughs> all right. Now we're back up top of the round, Billy. What What have you been prepping? Okay. What, what Tuesday uh, device have you been prepping? Well, I don't have all that many. Um, and I'm trying to stay somewhat non-lethal and so i'm going to drop that right at okay. this point Another sleep oh and i really rolled a crap <laughs> okay oh so 25 hit points of creatures but i rolled badly um that that yeah that's it so both of these guys here are now asleep. So you got one guard and one civilian. All right. I cut the casualty level down a little bit. Oh, nice. Okay. Anything else? That's uh, pretty much all I got. Oh, I forgot to move. Um, and then uh, Willa is, um, is sitting back and drawing the, the pretty cloud cover colors. Oh, yeah, the cloud uh, disappears. After, oh, because it's a concentration? Right. Okay. We'll go so they did something there. else. Delete. Boop. Uh, so now the, the fog disperses, and you see on the rock <laughs> is a um, uh, uh, dead body splayed across the rock, and Thorntooth is fighting uh, one of the guards uh, that is stand like, and they're both kind of standing up on the rock. Let's actually get that moved. Boop. So y'all are kind of standing on the rock, uh, like fighting around the the woman's body. Um, Does Thorntooth get any cover for the giant woman? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, I'm never living that. Um, <laughs> Try to throw together some tokens. It'll be fine. They said. All right. and, <laughs> I like these. I like these Amazonians that we're trying to protect. Yeah. I like the idea that they're like fifteen feet tall. Yeah. Okay. Not necessarily. So, that doesn't tell you height. That's true. So it just uh, seems circumference. She's up first. The one that stole the uh, 
the sword from the guard. Oh, uh, sweet. And he turns around, he kind of puts his hands up, and he's like, no, 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 no wait, whoa, whoa. and then she just goes, she goes straight for the throat, uh, shoves the, the sword, like, up through the bottom of his jaw and out through the top of his head. Oh, Ooh. my God. Feisty. Well, well, he did kill your friend, so I can at least understand. You don't have hate in your heart. Now, it's not the time. Uh, she turns to you, Ignatius, and that's where she ends. Um, and then let's see how the other guys are doing. Well, this probably isn't good. Okay. So now the guards are kind of getting ganged up on a little bit. Huh. Yeah, dude, and that one's asleep. <laughs> Which yeah, ones are asleep? Um, oh, I see. I see. Yeah. Two down here are asleep. This guy is, he runs forward and he's like rummaging through the pockets of the guard. Looks like he's just uh, looting the body. Um, he's not trying to attack him or anything. That's a proper, uh, he, that's a proper rioter. Uh, pulls <laughs> some gold out of his pocket and runs. Stay safe, <laughs> my friend. Wow. He has run. Uh, you're still in the city. This is the only map that was working for some reason. Uh, but he runs down like this, the alleyway that y'all were uh, trying to pass through. Now, you've got uh, two guards left. One of them is asleep. Or three guards left, one of which is asleep. Cool. And Ignatius, you're up. So you have a woman with a sword in front of you and a, uh, another uh, uh, two other uh, commoners on your back and your left side. Uh, now, lady, you saw I was trying to help you with that guard. I wasn't necessarily a fan of you killing him, but I was not trying to harm you. She turns away from you. Cool. Uh, I am going to run up here and kind of scan and see if any of my friends are hurt. I know Tantor got hit. I was getting my dinner while some of the fight was going on. Did anyone else get hurt? Uh, Thorntooth is hurt a little bit as well. Uh, he took five points of damage. Okay, I'm just going to hold back and let them decide what to do with the remaining living guards because I'm not going to try to kill any of them. <laughs> We're, we decide to make them not living guards. <laughs> I mean, that's okay. fair, but I don't want that on my hands. All right. Uh, Tantor, you're up. All right. It's Dead Maker again. Yeah, That'll that's what's hit. up. How have you not crit yet? You've hit like 325s and 14 uh so the one that you would already impaled um but you go for a matching spot on the, uh like on the right side so going in through like the right uh clavicle uh this time however you you hit off the bone a little bit instead of going into the clavicle it kicks off a little bit and goes through the throat so it, it dead maker has speared itself through the the guard's throat, and the end of Deadmaker gets a bit heavy as he just dead weights. Um, dead. Ah, you could say it made him dead. It made him dead indeed. <laughs> you got two guards left, one's asleep and looted. Uh, is that the one whose turn it is? Uh, the one whose turn it, it um, is, yeah, the Remaining guard is next. Oh. That's Anything else up. from you, Tantor? Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize you were waiting on me. No, I'm I'm good. I'm happy with that. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, so this one is still in battle on the rock with Thorn Two. Uh, he steps, like trying to step and, and lunge towards you. Thorntooth, he, you know, doesn't see where his footing is going, and he actually steps into the the cavity of the body, and his foot gets stuck, uh, and he tries to lunge towards you to get a stab on you. He, he swings wildly, uh, and his foot is now he's occupied with his foot now being stuck in uh, the <laughs> chest cavity. Okay. Oh and God. 
Uh, quick thank Wait. you to Mage and Boo for subscribing to us on Twitch. Thank you. Mage yeah, thanks. And just that, for that, I'm going to swing on this guy's head. Is, is that some kind of Dragon oh. Boo Zabooty yeah, reference? Dude. The Dragon yes. Zabooty. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Dragon. Yeah. Yep. Uh, cool. Uh, yeah, yeah, that'll. All right, so 12 in total. Yep. Okay, so now you're actually you're able to see uh, his injuries a bit. He as he's bringing his um, like trying to dislodge his foot, he turns up to you just as you're bringing uh, your great X down, and so instead of getting his neck, you do get his helmet. Uh, but your your axe breaks through his helmet, and you feel like you feel the axe cutting into his skull a little bit. Oh, uh, he's he's wobbly. And his eyes are kind of glazed over, but it looks like the life, uh, the breath of life is still in him. Good guy. Oh okay. my god. <laughs> uh, Billy, I, you're I, up. Shit, I feel like around. if I heal this guy, he'll be mad at me too, like that guy <laughs> at the ball was. Uh, Billy, did you say? Billy, <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, Billy's got to do nothing. Uh, because he has one spell slot left, and just in case. Okay. All right. So you're just gonna pass your turn. Yeah. Okay. And thank you for the follow on Twitch, Edward T. So Thorn Tooth, you as you pull your great axe up, you hear like a like a war cry, uh, and you turn and you see the last remaining. Uh, woman, uh, let's see. The the rest of the men have pilfered what body, like what they can from the body, and have fled. Uh, she is still out for blood. She comes in with the sword, runs up uh, the rock, and does she smell what it's cooking? <laughs> she slips on like the blood that's coming down, like sliding down the uh, the rock. And loses her sword. Sword goes flying, and she face uh, first plants into the rock. Uh, looks like she has knocked herself out cold. Oh no! Ignatius, you're up. Uh, how hurt does that lady look? She's unconscious uh, and bleeding a little bit. Uh, you know, from a head wound. Oh. Other than that, you can't you can't really tell too much. It didn't look like in the battle she got hit too much other than this. Um, so this looks to be like her only injuries. Okay, I'm going to try to hit the guard in a not dead spot, deadly spot with my hammer. I hope you kill him. These guys didn't try to kill <laughs> us first. Like... They Everyone's tried to kill our fighting. people. I saw that, but our people were trying to kill them at the same time. This is a complicated situation. I'm on the fucking fence, okay? <laughs> so uh, I I will tell you, um, just to, you know, for character purposes and role playing purposes, this guy looks like our last leg. Like anything would would send him over. Uh, and there's, there's you, not you mean like an 18 with a two handed warhammer? <laughs> <laughs> like, you're. you're there's no real way to do non-lethal damage with the warhammer. Can I just aim at his ankle? Uh, no, dude. Really you gotta become. You gotta become one of us. Be a killer, one of us. I can at least uh, justify it in my character's head that they were trying to kill us and our people. You can be chaotic good and kill people. I do it all I the time. I understand. That. I didn't want to hurt you, my friend, but you were. You caused me to. Ah, boom. And thank you to Shwe- uh, okay, Swedish so go, Chef go. for subscribing on Twitch. And I like your uh, handle there. We also got a $5 and a $2 donation from Af- Ash and Jeff Tillis in the YouTube chat because they were debating about what I was having for dinner and they were both wrong. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank y'all. My Euro platter got us $7. Nice. So I just looked at... Um non-lethal damage rules 5e there is no um non-lethal damage in in 5e you just when you make the damage roll like the attack roll you just choose to i'm going to knock him out not kill him 
Um, so when it are you kidding me? Zero, you could just choose to knock them out. Yeah, that's yeah. what I want to do. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I did yeah, 58 um, damage to the baby, but don't kill it. <laughs> no, it's fine. I actually have already stated that in my head, I decided that they were posing enough of a threat that this is necessary. I tried to calm them. Their rage was beyond calming. Okay. Oh, that's just say That's a beauty. Yeah, just look at uh, They stabbed page. my fucking friend. They killed all these women. Yes, yeah, embrace the hate. It. When an attacker reduces the creature's zero hit points with a melee attack, the creature can choose to uh, knock the creature out instead of not kill. It. This is for my captain, and I swing it at his uh, chest cavity. Hey, is All somebody right, we'll, eating we'll nuts and bolts or something? <laughs> <laughs> somebody eating nuts and bolts. Um, Jay, go ahead and still give me a damage roll just to see. Uh, I'm going to go with a probably being what I roll. Okay. And Lucky Behemoth, thank you for subscribing on Twitch. I like your handle as well. Thank you. Lucky uh, so Behemoth? He... Yeah. Nice. So you uh, run up the, the the rock. Just getting all these other tokens out of the way. Um, you run up the, the rock, uh, screaming for Captain, and plunge your Warhammer uh, into <laughs> the guard's chest cavity. Um, and with a oddly satisfying um, crunch that the chest <laughs> cavity crushes in, uh, and you pull out, and uh, there are bits of bone and blood on your Warhammer. Can I try to, like, samurai sword clean it off? Just whoosh. Yeah. You know, kind of shake it in the wind. Um, it's not a clean. It's not you know as clean as the samurai uh, swish, but you get you get the blood off. It's not <laughs> gonna stay. Okay. Um, well, I don't think that we have to. Uh, so all so all of the men ran away, and the woman they looted the, mm-hmm. they looted the, the bodies and ran away. Um, this. Oh, I'm going to go down there and help that lady. Is this a matriarchal society or are all the men just like <laughs> cowards? No, they just, you know, uh, maybe to... she just had bloodlust in her heart and was waiting for the right opportune moment. Uh, so both her and this guard down here are asleep. Well, I don't care I about that guard. Her. Well, the wait, lady maybe looks he, like maybe she's he has fine. something useful. Ah, right, no, wrong one. Don't delete her. Undo. There we go. Delete him. I want to see if he has anything useful on him. Okay, go ahead and give me a search. Uh, I'm going to do that for all of them, actually, all of the bodies. Okay. Yeah, can I grab a helmet and wear that? Uh, do you want the helmet of the guy that you split the helmet in half? Yeah. Okay. Nice. I'm just gonna <laughs> clean off her head. As if it looks like she doesn't have any major injuries, I'm just gonna make sure she's comfortably resting. Okay. Give me a um, medicine check. There is no and... search. Is it perception or investigation? Investigation. Yeah. Five. E, okay. Five e skills. Gee, Willikers. <laughs> um, from what you're, you can... I'm lost. I don't know where I am. <laughs> uh, you can't even. You can't even get. Like you don't find any pockets or, or bags or anything <laughs> that the guards have. These guys had nothing on them. You know, you're not even sure how they uh, stored their swords uh, on them. <laughs> this is impossible. The There's the nothing water? on these men. Uh, Jay, uh, Ignatius, you are uh, able to deduce that she had a slight, you know, she had a fall, cracked her head a little bit. Uh, uh-huh. She'll she'll wake up with a nasty headache. Um but it doesn't look, you know, she doesn't really have the signs of, of like a, a concussion or anything like that. Okay. She just had a little bit of a fall. She's bleeding a little bit, but it doesn't look fatal. All right. Are we, we close to the water? No, no. This is just We're a in map. The of y'all, y'all are still in the, uh, in the city. Uh, y'all are about three blocks away from the pastry. Chef. Um, okay, so are we taking this woman with us? Maybe we could use her later. Excuse me? 
<laughs> <laughs> Sir, Captain, you, you know she seems to she seems there. to be a good fighter. Why? What did you think? There are some uh, Naduels in this city, sir, and that could be taken the wrong way. But she does seem like a very good fighter. Yeah, I'm a good do well, and she are would good do well, well to hang out with you, us. You are the best do well. Um, so I'm gonna. Uh, <laughs> hey, Ethan, what's the DC strength check I'll have to make to carry her? <laughs> what's your? What is your strength? Thirty-five. Something strong. stupid. Um, I, I don't know. 20. Well, no, I have a twenty in strength. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Oh, you can carry her just fine. Um. <laughs> yeah. Which other weight stuff do you have on you? What are you yeah. Doing? Let's yeah. let's yeah. carry her you, to the uh, pastry shop. <laughs> yeah. You you're good uh, on carrying her. Let's give her. Give her a name. I'll take oh, you to the pastry up. shop. Woman, McWoman face. Oh, I <laughs> like that creative. Yeah. But... All right, we'll just go for right now. Unknown woman. Uh, she oh no, name. dude! We should name her Tantor Woman Tar. Huh. <laughs> You, you got to work a little bit on the relationship there, you know. I don't see her <laughs> yeah, on the thing. unknown she's, woman. She's not gonna. She's not gonna take your last name right away, sir. Oh, uh, and then, yeah, then there's still the one guard that's still asleep there. Um, you is do she a human or is she an elf? Uh, she's human. Is okay. she actually gigantic? No, no. That's just <laughs> how the token came to fall. I just like put it on there. And it was like, boom, it's big. I was, all right, cool, fine. Because we keep role playing her like she's <laughs> at minimum yep. like China like or something. Yeah, uh, we'll the see wrestler, not the country. Correct. <laughs> we'll see where it goes. See how much uh, how much work I actually put into developing her as a character. We'll see how how she ends up uh, at the end of this, this session. <laughs> yeah, uh, we'll have to see so... if she survives first before we <laughs> give her a name. So, uh, you you do hear the the sounds more like rioting happening. Um, and let me try and see if finally that map will work because it's going to be a really good map for what's coming up. Oh, yeah. I like the sound of that. Also, at some point, I'm going to need to get back to uh, Sassafras. Yeah. Okay, how did... It's black. <laughs> I forgot all about Sassafras, and I hate to say that. Ah, this is so dumb. Do you have the time set to uh, midnight? <laughs> Don't you love how like a pre a preloaded World Twenty map doesn't work on World Twenty? Threat level midnight. <laughs> that, Ethan, can you see it? Oh yeah. <clears throat> all right. Well, for dilapidated, let's try. Hey, you weirdo. Yeah, that is my that is my wife yelling at our new kitten. <laughs> After I thought it hurt. Uh, can y'all see that one? Talk to you. No. Everyone's telling me not to eat hair. Yeah, you in should the world. Eat hair, especially not our baby. All right. Well, this is great. Um, guess we'll just go back to the bar. Guess nothing else is seeming to work. Oh, perfect. That's where Sassafras is. No, it's like the bar? bar map, not the actual bar yet. Oh. Yeah, I don't think we want to let Tantor into a bar anytime soon. <laughs> yeah, I'm already still drunk. Uh, Ethan, Ash yeah. just said in the chat, make sure the map isn't set to DM layer only. Why would it do that by default? Yeah, you know, what do I know about old twenty? Pardon me. Is it set to the old dynamic lighting or the new dynamic lighting? Because the new dynamic lighting just fails half of the time. It, it's not, it's not set very to dynamic. Yeah, ah. I don't have any dynamic lighting set up on it. We were on this map the last time, though, right? 
No, no, this is a new one. Oh, okay. Yeah, map player. Let's try. Can you see me now? Nope. Uh, no. All right. Well, we'll just we'll use the bar. I don't know what's going on with that map. That you know, Vol Twenty itself had up. Hmm. Yeah. What are you gonna do? All right. Can you see this map? Yeah. Yes. 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 All right. Cool. So this will be placeholder. Um. This looks like a good pastry shop. Sassafras. Or here. Yeah, this will be placeholder for that thing. All right. Ha ha. I'm upon my steed. <laughs> Okay, and then we'll have. God, why are they all oh so big? Oh my god! <laughs> yeah. yeah, why are they so big? By default, um, right-click on them, advance, uh, yeah. set size, and make it seventy by seventy. Yeah, I got it. It's just like why? Good lord! So, is there a beanstalk somewhere <laughs> that we could climb down and get away from all these giants? All right, and let's pull everyone. Okay, so you, uh, Tanto, you're you're actually the first one to run to it because uh, you've got the bead on uh, on the pastry shop. Uh, so you round the corner, and you see the pastry shop. It looks like the roof itself is caved in. Oh, no. This does not bode well for more peach turnovers. It just got real. <laughs> is that a giant woman again? <laughs> yeah. yeah. She's still there, still unconscious. <laughs> hey, we'll, we'll bring her down now. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> How is she standing? I just want to see... <laughs> She's not. Profile. I'm carrying her. We get it, birdies. There we go. Uh, so you come up to the pastry shop, um, and it looks like, I mean, the sign looks like it, uh, it's been torn down. Uh, the windows are broken in. The, it looks like the roof has caved in at points. Um, and you're not really hearing anything from the inside. I don't remember what that dude's name was. Oh, my God. We got to go see if he's alive. I'm going in there. Pastry dude, pastry dude, I run inside after him. This is, uh, Peter's pastries. I'm going to make this the pastry shop. Okay, <laughs> well, we'll move him. Oh, fuck. No, that's where they're going to do it. Fine. Peter! Okay. Peter! <laughs> uh, you, don't he you don't hear anything uh, in response to the shouting for for Peter. And All right, I'm going gonna... <laughs> to see if I can find him. I'm running okay. in. So you're uh, searching through the rubble. Give me an investigation check. Oh, my ride's here. <laughs> <laughs> That's such an old joke. Don't laugh at that. <laughs> oh, you detective, <laughs> detective Thorntooth <laughs> on the case. <laughs> okay, no. So you, uh, Justin, you're everything just looks like charred rubble uh, to you right now. Yep, this is definitely a burned building. Um, Jess, which one was your roll? Was the first one you rolled or the second one? No, the, the the one was when I was looking through the guards. Okay. The 12 was the one for here. Okay. Um, so you're able to see... Uh, it looks like a... So over this stretch, over by where Thorntooth is, like Thorntooth is actually just looking right above... Uh, looks like there's a pile of uh, wood. Uh, they look like maybe they like they were the support beams in the beams of the roof of the pastry shop itself. Um, and you can hear like haggard breathing <laughs> uh, coming uh, from underneath the rubble. Okay, then I want to try and get the rubble out of the way. Okay, give me a strength check to pull it up. While also carrying an unknown woman in your uh, on your back. 
Hey, Justin, how many buffs are you putting on your character? <laughs> All of them. <laughs> so you, uh, with your trunk, you reach down and uh, pull up uh, a couple, a uh, couple beams, and you you see that the top it looks matted with like a dark uh, liquid, like the top uh, of uh, Peter's head. Uh, look, there's something like some kind of matted dark liquid uh, in his hair. Uh, and it looks like he's also got. Oh God, those two died. Uh, <laughs> and it looks like he's also got some blood, like kind of <laughs> on the side of his face as well. Is he alive? Uh, he is haggard, breathing. Uh, he, he, from what you can see, he looks to be alive. Uh, uh, but anyway, you're you're no doctor. Okay, uh, I want to cast he, cure wounds. Yeah, I want to uh, leap over. I'm kind of a doctor. He um. He turns like and looks up at you as he's uh, as he's uh, as you're continuing to pull more boards off, uh, and you expose one. It looks like there was a uh, roof beam that has impaled through his uh, his side, and so it's going out like the left side of his stomach, out his back. Uh, and he looks at you and he sees he says, "Dance, Dantor, Mister Mantar." I don't think I'm getting the pastry order done for you. No! <laughs> Peter, Peter, are you going to be mad at me if I cure you? I know that's a weird question. <laughs> what? And he, the, his eyes kind of glaze over and, and uh, his, his eyelids shut. Oh, no! All right, this just got serious. We got to get all of the peach turnovers that we can see. Uh, the only peach turnovers you can see are uh, looks like they he was in the process of doing the order so they actually lined the there's a clump of them on the table here um you're not really sure what goes in the process of making peach turnovers <laughs> they look to be like the shape is there but they don't look to be like the, the colors off uh also a lot of them have like ash and dust all over them as well i uh, i rolled a 10 for an investigation to try and find his like recipe book Wow. Okay. Um, Good call. You you do like little notes of of things that look to be, you know, kind of. They look to be like a recipe book, but they're they're not in anything you understand. Uh, they look to be more kind of like shorthand notes of you know things that kind of change and little things like this and that. But it doesn't look like there's a base of a recipe there, kind of just more augmentations and short scribbles. You know, like gotcha. the 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 range wasn't you know fully up today so when it's at this do this kind of change kind of thing like that but you don't see a base actual uh recipe in it now tantor before you go too crazy he made very good peach turnovers but we can find more peach turnovers at other bakeries that's not the last of them on earth you better be right i'm not lying this is the dead truth sir Well, in that case, we need to go get Sassafras and then see that guy that I beat in the joust. I agree with both of those points. The douchebag, uh, the horse first. Okay. Uh, uh, so is anyone around here alive? <laughs> I mean, no one's really done like a uh, like a medicine check on any, any bodies you can see. Um, so you're not really sure. I mean, most of them have things impaled through them. <laughs> yeah, like the the one body you see here uh, does have something impaled through them. Hey, Ignatius, see if you can find any survivors. Aye, aye. I will help Ignatius. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go so, out front and kind of look around. Yeah, me too. Okay, so everyone's going out front looking. Ignatius, are you going out front looking as well? Mm-hmm. Okay. So, uh, I mean, there are still, there's a lot of, um, you know, people walking around that look like they have head injuries. Um, some look like they probably have burns. There are some people that are, uh, you know, hold up uh, in kind of corners. Just, okay. uh, that is a guard that looks like he's patrolling around. Uh, that's a guard. That's a guard. Um. Yeah, I'm with Thorn too. Oh, you gonna go up to the guards? What's that guy's name? The douchebag that Chaz had to fight. 
uh that guy's name was uh he was one of the frummies he hey. was uh runin runin frummy <laughs> uh, hey hey you with the sword so, so i'm gonna have to ask you to please please find a safe domicile and a safe shelter we just came out of a domicile where a whole bunch of people tried to kill us. We're looking for that guy, Runin from me. He's important, right? Uh, the 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 mayor's youngest or uh, middle son, yes. Yeah. Although I don't know, I haven't heard anything from the Frummy. Where's and, the uh? You know, where is the mayor's uh, offices at? Because we have reason to believe the Frummy family might be in a little bit more trouble. Than uh, we realize right now. So, go back to the full map. This guard seems very trusting. I like him. Uh, so y'all are uh, in the area over here. Got it. And mm -hmm. the uh, from his basic estate is over on the east side of the city, on kind of its own little island. Uh, oh, they live where the tournament was? Oh, no, tournament no, no, I see. Yeah. Tournament well, was live, higher up. They, they live where I originally thought the tournament was. Yes. Um, okay, well, uh, and the horse barn is... Uh, the stable was up by uh, by the tournament grounds, so up, oh. up north. Well, then we'll, have to go, then we'll have to go see the frummies before we go get sassafras. And then we get more peach turnovers, and then we get a new ship, and then we get out of here. All of those things are realistic. We might have to do the peach turnovers after we get out of here, sir. No, they're on the list, and they're, they're in the literally right order. there. Literally, may be no buildings left standing that prepare peach turnovers. Then we will find a man or a woman who will bake them without a building. Okay, let's go to the Frummies, and then we'll talk about this yeah. afterwards. So uh, let's go ahead. As y'all are uh, moving, ducking around uh, citizens and crowd, uh, trying to you know, not draw any more attention as you pretty stealthily make your way to the to the Frummy estate. Uh, let's bring everyone over. Ooh. Oh, God, everyone's in the water now. Oh, no. The sharks are back. Hold on now. Tantor, you are very presumptive that we made it that far. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. I'm just going to go right in here. I am a drunk no, elephant, no, after me. all. <laughs> so, uh, as y'all are uh, making your way to where the Frummy Estate is, uh, you see a, a line uh, of guards, and there's a huge crowd that comes back all the way from here. <laughs> Uh, to the bridge, and at where the uh, bridge is, there is a line of what look to be very uh, well fortified and well armed guards, and as well as uh, getting a little glimpse uh, between the rows of guards, the bridge itself looks like it is out. It has been destroyed. Um, oh, so there is uh, looks like the you know there's no way to cross that land bridge, as well as it looks like there's a lot of uh, Shouting, there's a lot of uh, that huge crowd there as basically uh, you know, a lynch mob, for lack of a better word. Uh, a lot of people have pitchforks and uh, and torches, and uh, there was a large crowd of probably about 300 people uh, to what looked like to be about 50 guards on a line there, and then on the far end of the beat, or of the bridge there are more guards kind of stationed uh, just for anyone that can, you know, do end up making it uh, past the bridge as unlikely as that is. I'm going to disguise uh, myself then... as a guard. <laughs> I'm going to cast Cure Wounds on myself. Can I do that? Huh. You can. Um, so, Thorntooth, are, are you sure you want to disguise yourself as a guard? Yeah. Thorntooth, okay. can I suggest that guards have not fared real well. Yeah, I don't think guards he says that out loud to us. I think he just turned I would do it like as I'm walking through the crowd and I get to the other guards like where I'm talking to them. 
where I can talk, have a conversation. I know the bridge is broken, but. Ha ha. Trying to do some okay. um, Loki shape shifting. So you're you're trying to do it like slowly as you're moving through the crowd. Yeah. Okay. Let's see here. To do it, you know, piece by piece. Uh, go ahead and give me a, a slide of hand check. Cool. One second, sorry. Oh. Oh hell. Oh yeah. No, you, you are you blend into the crowd and come out a new man on the other side. Cool. And I'm gonna yell to the other guards across the way. I need to get through. I've got five people with me that need to see uh, running from me. Um, so on that um, note, uh, a couple things happen. Uh, so uh -huh. how, how, like, are you waiting till you get up to them to say that? Are you shouting that from like where, right where the crowd no, is? When I get up to them. Okay, because they like where, where like the riding crowd is. There are some like barricades you have to you have to step over. So you have okay. to step over those, and then there's an empty space. Then. Uh, more of the armed guards. Yeah. Um, go ahead and give me a deception check. <laughs> nice. okay. I mean, he mispronounced his name, so I guess that fits. <laughs> so the the looks of the guard that you uh, walk straight up to, he actually he stops you in the middle of the uh, the space. Uh, and he says, "Said I don't know if you're new or not, uh, but your first off, your your getup's looking a little like the normal city guards. Uh, I don't know if you know, but this is the personal guards of the the Frummy Estate, and we know everyone from that side is either in this line or still on that side." I don't know where you got this get up. Probably from a, uh, a guard that I'm not going to accuse you of killing because we don't want anything stupid happening right now. But no one's getting through. I've got the winner of the joust. From... Even winners of the joust, they are not part of the royal family. And as such, they are not allowed on the island uh, during these trying times. Understood. You must understand, as a proper guard, if that you are, that our duty is to protect the nobles. Now, why don't you go back into the city and try to quiet out this riot? Uh, sir, do you believe I could have your ear in private for just a moment? I just want to tell you something that I desperately don't want anyone else to hear. Sir being hey, Tantor? Main guard? Nope, I was talking to the guard. Okay. Um. Give me a give me a, a charisma. God, you're gonna make me roll twice to do uh, persuasion. This. Yeah. Yes. Okay. No. I've I've decided that I'm gonna try and sneak in. Awesome. So I'm gonna try and <laughs> I'm gonna try and sneak off this way. Okay, I really... you're, just, you're just heading off that way? Okay, that's fine. Um, I really want to tell this guy the truth, but I'm just going to have to yell it if I do. Yeah, he, he's he's not taking anything in, in private. He tells you that uh, this is my post. I'm not to leave my post. We're here as protectors and barrier for any entry. Mm -hmm. How strong are those uh, barricades? Um, are they, They're like, they're a nice, solid wood construction but they're they're not any like metal or stone or anything like that they're thick wood uh <laughs> not quite as thick as like ships would but i mean if you tried you could you could tear it down i'm good, definitely gonna try like the, the one the one in front of the, the riders or the guards in front of the riders to help get them over there to cause a distraction okay um if Chaz is going off, sneak Chaz, uh, uh, Tanto is, yeah. is gone to the rocks. Yeah, I'm gonna swim across. 
Yeah, I'll throw him a distraction by trying to tear it apart. Okay, so uh, Tedra, the, the map doesn't reflect this, but uh, the land masses themselves are actually above the water. Uh, they're on like stilts uh, up above. The The reason y'all were able to get you know, up from the boat itself is because you came into like an actual dock uh, that had a la like had you know an access point that goes down to the to the water. So I mean, you can jump down into the water. You're just gonna have to climb your way back up. Um. Okay. Well, what about a grappling hook? Do you have a grappling hook? They yeah. can support you. <laughs> Oh wait, I got I got an idea, Chaz. Where where do you have a grappling hook? Oh, is it not on my sheet? I do not see a grappling hook in your sheet now. Damn it! Hold on, I have an idea. I'll just go Ooh, invisible. Just well, I'm I'm way far away. <laughs> I've made the mistake of isolating myself from the group, so now I have to think for myself. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Um, yeah, Justin, are you are uh, are you still trying to gonna try to destroy the barricades? Yeah, I'm gonna try and destroy it, and then immediately go invisible after I've destroyed it. Okay, uh, so go ahead and, uh, and you don't have to like roll to hit it. Just give me an attack roll to like destroy it or a damage roll to destroy it. Oh, damage roll, sorry. Yeah. Oh God, Tantor. I don't think I'm raging uh, anymore. Sorry. I'm not raging anymore. Okay, so just nine. Uh, that's yeah. still enough. Like with your great axe, you get you don't outright destroy it, but you splinter it enough that the the rioting rage, like crowd itself, uh, is able to do the rest of the work for you, and it splits uh, down the middle. It's a small funnel. I mean, there's a it's there's only going to be two or three people at a time funneling through it. Uh, so you've effectively got a, a choke point uh, of of people running across now about a twenty foot gap uh, to another barricade. Cool. But they charge, and then you go invisible. Yeah, and then I'm just going to try and run with them and like work my way up this way, I guess. Okay, so as you are, uh, you go invisible and then charge with the crowd. Um, and you hear uh, the, the guard that you were trying to convince to let you go uh, through. Uh, you hear him shout out, Men! Lethal force has been authorized. Uh, and from like uh, from like rows on the like from guards in the end, looks like fires out uh, two little beads of like red uh, light that streak towards the crowd that you're in and then explode. Uh, give me a reflex. <laughs> Say okay. Oh no. Uh, the fuck is why did not see it? Ethan, can I try to plead with the guard, sir? You don't want to hurt this innocent kitten. Please see, please, sir, <laughs> do not hurt this innocent kitten. I was wondering how long it was gonna take before you showed him. <laughs> this is my new friend. He his He's name. Done is Maxwell Jacob Feline, and I'm very proud of that name, and he does not want to be held anymore. Okay. I can't see. Uh, I can't find re Reflex on my character. That's a role-playing. Oh, I don't think it's called Reflex anymore, is it? It's just a dex save. Oh, yeah. I can't look. That's why. Oh. Oh, so, yeah. Uh, okay. Um, so uh, when the fireballs explode... Uh, so you get you get rocked by both of them. You're, you you see them coming enough that you kind of you know brace yourself for it. Uh, the crowd around you does not. Um, I'm behind one of those big women, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you uh, hear the screams of like charring bo like bodies that are now on fire, uh, and you'll still take uh, 14 points of damage. Uh, as the blast itself sends you like um, hurling forward, you're not knocked off your feet or anything, uh, but the heat does singe your hairs and send you hurtling forward a little bit. Okay. Cool. I'm going to continue running. 
as soon as I can. Okay. I do I dove in the water if that wasn't clear. Yeah, I, I can see that. Go ahead and give me swim checks to see uh, if you can get through it. Athletics. <laughs> Athletics, yeah. Dun, 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 dun. This is gonna be Oh. Um, so Ignatius, go ahead and give me another <laughs> Oh dang uh, charisma. Michael Phelps is back. Swimming. I'm a killer swimmer, bro. Uh, elephants can swim, son. Yeah. Uh, Ignatius, go ahead and give me a uh, another charisma save. Oh, all right. Charisma check. Uh, with disadvantage now, because he is actively attacking everyone. Oh, no. Hold on. Charisma check, you said? Or charisma save? Uh, charisma check, yeah. Nah, I clicked save. I'm sorry. Hold on. Everyone say hi, there Olivia. Hi, Olivia. Hi, Olivia. Well, my check was way worse than my save. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> opposite. So, uh, so yeah, your your shouts uh, are heard on deaf ears. Um. Billy, uh, do you want to do anything while well, Thorntooth, uh, Ignatius is trying to plead uh, diplomat, Thorntooth has disappeared, Tantor is gone, um, and there is a crowd of people that are basically running through a choke point that's being bombarded with fireballs. Oh, God. Uh, you know, he has so little that he can do, but I guess I'll throw like a a minor illusion of a very loud voice screaming, Everybody, stop! Civilian oh, is actually chaotic. Good. So is Tantor. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, all right, Tantor. Uh, so Tantor, you've reached one of the uh, pylons that are keeping the land up. Uh, this is going to be a hell of a climb that to get it up here. Uh, it's athletics. Yeah. Damn. By the way, you're, you're making the... uh, you're making good progress. Um, the guy donated 20 bucks for my cat. Kitty. Oh, right. thanks, the guy. Appreciate you. Thanks for the love. Uh, so, Billy, your your illusion shouts out, everybody stop. Um, a couple of people do, but, uh, I mean, for the most, like, this is a full-blown rioting mob. Like, they, everyone is mob mentality right now, even with, like, People have been hit by fireballs and uh, a line of guards all attacking. Uh, they're still full on, on going. Uh, Thorntooth, you've made it to where like the line of the guards are. What are you doing now? Thorntooth? Thorntooth, are you there? Thorntooth. Chop up! Hey, it's not working? Hey, oh, yeah. there you are. are. Thorntooth is back. Yeah. He's not invisible anymore. I was really into role playing there for a second. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm just gonna try and s sneak by him. How long does the invisibility okay. last? I forget. I'll pull up your invisibility. It's like ten seconds or something like that. No, the fur <laughs> the furbolg invisibility is like at least a minute. Yeah, I would think so. Where is does anyone, anyone does anyone in chat now per chance? I see detect magic. I don't see your invisibility one. Where you should have it on the right side of your character sheet. Uh if you scroll down, it should be and if you go over it and click the gear, it'll give you the explanation. Uh hidden step. Oh, that is, yeah. It's at the start of your next turn or until your attack, make a damage roll, or force someone to make a saving throw. Okay, so I guess that's in an attack. How do you want to work that? So it's just gone now? Uh, if if you attack, yeah. Oh, I'm um, not going to attack. I'm just going to keep on running by him. Yeah. Well, so, I mean, it has next turn. Uh, but yeah. it's, it's assuming like it's balanced. Uh, so we just said 60 seconds, so. Yeah, so I'll, I'll give you 60 seconds. Um, cool. It's been about 30, so you're, you're, you, you're <laughs> half. Uh, I'm sprinting uh, this give way. Give me a yeah, give me a stealth check, uh, but you'll do it with advantage. In what way? You... Uh, oh, 
with advantage, right? You would have you would have to cross the bridge first, and the bridge is out. Oh, okay. So, like the bridge itself is out. Yeah. Um, I'll just dive into the water. I'm, we should have gotten okay. one of the strong people to just chuck Willa. <laughs> so, um, or villain. You able to make it past the line of guards, and oh, you could I attempt uh, to run like, and jump across the gap? The gap itself is about like it's like forty feet. I want to see you try. Yeah, like it, it's a very long gap. Like, you, you can, can do it. Stranger yeah, things I think I can do it. Yeah, I'm just gonna go for it. What do you want? Athletics? Yeah. That's an amazing cow. <laughs> and I just splash into the water. Yeah. So uh, when you splash into, like in mid air, actually, you're going to become visible again. Uh, and with everything going on, all the noise, no one hears you. Just completely splash. Uh, full body into the water. Okay. Um, Tantor, you're, you've made it, you're almost to the top of the pylon. Um, go ahead and give me another athletic check. Oh boy, this is where it gets risky, fellas. This is the best athletics check right here, the one that has stakes. Oh, uh, yeah, you, uh, son. Yeah, you plug right, and you, you make it to the, to the, um, on the lake, pull yourself up. Um, the estate and the walls are in front of you and you turn to like you're you're scoping around looking and it looks like uh, thorn tooth your friend pops uh visible in midair and then splashes into the water uh, <laughs> off to your right how far away is he from me uh like 200 feet away and then mm. you know down more what is, am I, can I tell if the, have the guards noticed me that I'm over here? Uh, well, right now you, you haven't said whether you're moving stealthily or not, so. Oh, you're, yeah, you're that gonna... was kind of my intent from the beginning, yeah. so. Go ahead and give me a stealth check. Uh-oh. Oh, dear God. I have a five in stealth, too, so. Oh, good Lord. Uh, so. Sadly, that's added in. As as you, uh, as you turn and you're looking at uh, Thorntooth crash into the water, um, you you remember your all of your drunken stupors that have happened, and you're kind of coming coming off of your uh, your drunkenness, and the world kind of raised for a little bit, and uh, and you slip and uh, and crash, and there's a you actually dislodge a good bit of rock and that mass rock falls itself falls into uh the water and then you hear what sounds like, a, like an air raid sound going off it's like oh, oh my god <laughs> and we'll end there for the night oh good lord <laughs> oh, that's awesome dude doing good things here <laughs> oh, yeah, we're doing great. Yeah, I just set off the alarm at Fort Knox, and uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. this is like the re this is like the movie The Rock. We're trying oh, to God, break. Yeah. Oh, we're trying God, to break into a prison. I love that movie. That movie's so good. It's an American classic. Yes. It was one of the last good things that Michael Bay made. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you, Twitter and uh, or not Twitter, no, 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 YouTube and Twitch people. Hey, Twitter's cool too. People yeah, probably came cool. here to Twitter. Yes, thank all of you for joining us this evening. Um, just a reminder, in case you missed it earlier, um, and I'll be posting more about it on social this week. We are going to be playing our one shot this weekend, a Florida edition, which is just a, a modern, a D twenty modern variant that we'll be playing and being crazy Florida people. Um, and then next uh, Saturday, June the 6th, we'll be playing uh, regular 5e one-shot with Brandon Cutler, um, wrestler and nerd extraordinaire, uh, wrestler from AEW. Uh, also so that's going to be super cool. Got very emotional on this week's episode of Being the Elite, which is a good YouTube show that you should watch after you watch our YouTube shows. <laughs> and, yes. Uh, and also, another thing about uh, about Saturday game, it's going to be a, a level 12 uh, one-shot. So um, if anyone's never played in something that high or seen something that high level, uh, you're going to see a little bit of the ridiculousness that happens when you get like above level 10 in Dungeons & Dragons. 
Uh, so it should be fun. Uh, I expect a lot of bad things to happen because it's Florida edition. Yeah. My character has a mullet, and that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so we'll see y'all on Saturday um, at 8 p.m. Eastern, and then we'll also be back next Wednesday to continue on the Airships of Nuada campaign. Um, thanks, everybody, for joining us, and have a great evening. Bye.